Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Tis better to give than it is to receive. That's what they say. And it's true. I like giving gifts. My favorite part of the Christmas or holiday season happens to be the stocking part. You know, where I get to shove a whole bunch of small things into a little sock and then give it to somebody as a gift. Because then it's not just one present, it's like a whole bunch of them. I think that's kind of fun. Now, even if you don't celebrate the whole stocking stuffing tradition, I'm going to give you a few ideas uh, that you may find interesting if you've got a geek uh, who happens to be a friend, family member, colleague, and you're, you're looking around for gift ideas. I'm going to give you a handful of them. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to ask everybody who's watching this video who happens to be a geek to tell me and the rest of the community what you would want stuffed in your stocking. And please, take that the right way. I've also got a chat room here, which may shrink, and I'll have to zoom into it. I'm having some issues with this computer. That's one thing a geek could always use, troubleshooting advice. Just don't give it, or he or she might get angry. <clears throat> All right, so let's start the gift list with a glowing object. This glows. It's a mathmos, and this is what it does. You can plug it into a wall, so it'll glow all the time. So if you're looking for a nightlight, something that will illuminate a dark room, this thing is beautiful, and it actually fades in between different colors. The battery's running out because I've been using my math most too. Eh, it's to soothe me. Geeks like glowing objects, by the way. The math most, available from ThinkGeek. Go.tagjag.com slash ThinkGeek, by the way, to get uh, any one of the products that I show you that happen to be on ThinkGeek. You can get them at a discount because I've got all the coupons listed there. All right, moving along, uh, we've got this. Now this is an object that if you have someone who has an iPod or an iPhone uh, that's on your shopping list, you might be interested in, well, it's, I guess it's a three-in-one device. Not only does it act as a syncing dock for an iPod or an iPhone, there's also a USB hub and a compact flash or an SD uh, or memory stick reader. This is from Griffin. It is the Simplify because it's trying to simplify your life, charges by mini USB. So remove cable clutter, get a media reader and a USB hub all in one. Nice little stocking stuffer for someone who owns an iPod or an iPhone. Now, along the lines of computer peripherals, here's something that only works with Windows. Sorry, all you Mac geeks and Linux freaks. This is something that will basically act as a secure interface between you your credit card, the computer, and the website that you're doing a transaction on. So, you go to a website, yeah, it's got a little padlock, it's secure, but the thing is, you've got to type in that credit card number. Well, if you use this device in conjunction with the software, again, only on Windows, it will scan the card, or actually you scan the card, it will send that information directly to that website, no keystrokes entered. That's the key. So if you're worried about spyware, keyloggers, etc., this will bypass the whole thing. Scan the card, it goes directly into the form, you're good to go. This is the Smart Swipe, available right now. Nice little stocking stuffer, especially if there's a security uh, freak who happens to be in your family who uses Windows. And most geeks out there happen to be, oh, chat room kind of shrunk. Let me uh, go ahead and zoom it in for you again. Yeah. Oh, see, Frankie James 77 says Windows rocks. That must be true, because he said it on the internet. All right, moving along, we've got something for all you retro geeks out there. This is the Retro Link. It's available from thinkgeek.com, and it is a game controller uh, for either Mac or Windows. Plug it in by USB and, you know, play games. Does it look familiar? It's, it's the NES controller, right? You know, the whole up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start, the Konami start codes. Works just as well. That's, you know, kind of how it is. Right here. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. It's a controller. So you can play your games in retro style. This is probably for the older geeks. If you've got a younger geek in your family, they're probably not going to be interested in this. It's totally retro. I love it. So it's available, again, from thinkgeek.com. All right. Uh, here's another one that I happen to like. Now, you've probably got a webcam. The geek has probably got a webcam, but they probably do not have the point to view webcam. Now, what makes this nice as a webcam, this, by the way, is from IPEVO. It's USB. Uh, it'll work as a webcam in either Mac OS X or Windows, I suppose in Linux as well with the right driver. You essentially plug it in and then pivot it around. Now, that's the thing that I like about it, is that I can pivot it around in just about any direction that I want. So let's say I'm working on something here and I want to stream it out or record it. I can get that camera right down on top of it if I wanted to. And I can even, well, it even, it popped off there for a second as I was adjusting it. I can move it over onto that side and it's also got a clip. 
that will happen to fasten itself on the back of a notebook computer. So it's very versatile. This again, the Point to View camera has software for Windows that allows you to stream it live uh, directly full screen to a desktop. So if you want to do some live demonstrating of something, nice. It's also got a, an autofocus or a manual focus and uh, actually a button that if you press it with the software will actually take a live picture of whatever you see. So it's a very versatile webcam, especially if you're doing a lot of up close presentations. You can get up to two inches away from the subject and it'll still be in focus. Very nice webcam. Even if the geek already has a webcam, they could probably use this, especially if they plan on doing anything up close with a webcam. Because most webcam, they, 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 the quality, uh, it sucks, generally speaking. This one is good, and it can get close to an object. Moving along, going back to the uh, iPhone owner in your family, chances are they watch movies or videos on their iPhone, even YouTube stuff. You may think about getting one of these little jobs, just snaps onto the bottom here. Smart clip. Look at that. Just it, it's it it's it it just snaps on. Oh, what does it do? Well, instead of the sound going out through the speaker directly down, it will push the sound out this way. So I can be watching the video this way or this way, and the sound instead of going that way comes to me. Huh? Smart, huh? It's a little clip. It's nice and affordable. This uh, also available at thinkgeek.com. All right, uh, okay, so you got a dog, and the dog happens to be a geek, or maybe you just got a geek who likes bouncing things. Ha <laughs> ha, look at this, it's a meteor light. Oh, I know what you're saying, you're saying, Chris, it's not illuminated. That's because I gotta turn it on. I just press it, and it's illuminated, it'll glow, and it'll change different colors, and then I bounce it a few times, and then it turns red again, and then it'll start changing colors again. Kinda neat, it's a meteor, I like glowing objects. Your dog might like glowing objects, but even if you don't have a dog, I bet you your geek, again, likes glowing objects. Okay, now, chances are you need to transfer data from one computer to another, right? Well, in order to do that, well, they've either got to be connected to a network or you take a network cable, a crossover cable, and you connect the two machines together. You know what a crossover cable is, right? Mm, you might and you might not. Most people have regular old Ethernet patch cables. That's a cable that you connect your computer to a hub or a router or a modem. To, you, you connect those two things together. You cannot connect one computer to another using uh, a regular old Ethernet patch cable. You need a crossover cable. So to turn any old Ethernet patch cable into a crossover cable, you simply do this. Huh? Look at that. Huh? You see that? And can you, see, okay, I know it's nice and pink and everything. Yeah? You see it? See, I, I like it. It's, it's pink. It's, it's a super looper. It's, it's a crossover adapter. Essentially turns any patch cable into a crossover cable just like that. This is a gigabit uh, crossover cable, which means you can have high transfers between one PC or one computer and the other. Gigabit speeds. That's fast. It's very fast. Hang on. Let me see a second. Got to zoom in on the... Oops, don't want to copy the link. Zoom in on the chat room again. See that. Handy. Geeks are loving it. I'm telling you. All right. Again, for the geek in your family, let's say you've got something that is powered by DC. That is something like you would use in a car, like you plug it into the, you know, the DC outlet in your car. But let's say you don't have a DC outlet in your home. You probably don't. You probably have a whole bunch of AC outlets. Well, you need a converter, a power converter. And you don't even need to go to Toshi Station to get one of these things. Because you just stick in, you know, whatever deep... No, it's not plugged in. You can't. DC goes in there. AC goes in to an AC outlet, and there you go. You converted, as long as you have, well, I think it handles up to one amp, so it's not like for high-powered stuff, but if you just need some, you know, enough to, to cover one amp worth of power, then you can convert DC to AC just as so. This power converter, also available from ThinkGeek. All right, I did that, I did that. How, how much are we up to? Are we up to, did we get, did we get the, did, did we get this one yet? Did we get the, uh, the, uh, the little uh, evil Tron. I'm asking the thing. See this, this you, you, you. Uh, it's an evil Tron. It available from ThinkGeek. Go figure. Not everything here, by the way, available from ThinkGeek.com. It just so happens that ThinkGeek's got a lot of products for geeks. So essentially, uh, this will emit sounds at random intervals, like that, Can you hear me? or that, or that, or that. And and you stick this somewhere where they'll never find it or someone will never find it, and then they'll hear noises going, what was that? I heard something, but I don't know what it is. It annoys people. It's evil. It's pure evil. You can make think, uh, people think that something happens to be 
possessed. Let's see here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that ten? Did I really do ten products? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did ten. Well, I got two more. I want to show you. This this is actually something I, I bought for myself. Well, the board, but but more importantly, the Lego minifigs. These are actually classic minifigs that Lego's right now selling. Uh, they've I guess they've got a series of four. I only saw three at the Lego store the other day. But I'm I'm going to start a collection of Lego minifigs. Um, so if you want to send me your extra minifigs, I'll take them. I love Lego. Most geeks do. And uh, these are all classics. Uh, like when I started collecting Lego, uh, this is what Lego minifigs look like. Actually, uh, when I started collecting Lego, they didn't even have minifigs. Um, but now they're selling the classics uh, individually at, at the store or online, of course. And my plan is, is to fill this whole board with Lego minifigs. So I'm starting my collection officially this holiday season. Uh, I got the board, by the way. Just about $10 or whatever at the Lego store. Uh, and, and the minifigs are fun. Look at that. See, and it starts with Santa up front. I don't know if that was in focus at all. Okay, so one more to show you. And it's kind of a, a special edition treat. This is a Throwboy Locker Gnome pillow. And, and, and the geek may not want one of these, but it is made in my likeness since I drew this like years and years and years ago. And Throwboy makes these exclusively. Uh, you can buy this right now at throwboy.com slash lockernome, and I've decided to pass along my percentage of this. 20% is going to go to the Seattle Humane Society, so I'm not actually making any money from the locker gnome pillows. Oh, there goes Chad again. Boy, oh boy. I don't know what's going on there. i got a lot of stuff going on. See? I will sleep on your head, so says Gabe1118. Eh. 20% Seattle Humane Society. So there you go. Some ideas to get you going. Uh, some stuff from ThinkGeek, some stuff from beyond. Uh, useful products. Uh, things that, you know, a geek probably doesn't already have. And might want. Even laying around. Not always useful. Sometimes fun. Eh, you know, it's kind of difficult, you know, shopping for a geek. Even I know that. Just don't buy us, like, blank CDs and batteries. Really, because that's kind of lame. Again, leave a video response if you've got some other ideas, gift giving, gifts, uh, gift related stuffs, whatever, video response, comment, whatnot, right here, you leave the comment, whatever you happen to be watching this video. My email address, chris at perillo.com, of course we also have a community of technology enthusiasts, otherwise known as geeks, at geeks.perillo.com, we also have a, a live video feed. This is not a live video feed. The live video feed's actually over there, but the chat room I've got incorporated here in this video. Of course, for some reason, though, like I said, it, it's popping out. I mean, I have it zoomed in, but then it wants to pop out again. I don't know why. See, even geeks sometimes have problems with technology, but that's why we love it. Usually. Anyway, if you'd like to stop by the chat room, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. Dot com. We'll see you later.